We can perform specific actions on each order. On the Orders tab, depending on the configuration of the account, we have the option to execute our own events. These are our own events assigned to the automatic actions configured on the account. In addition, each account has the option to perform default actions. That is, deleting an order, creating a new order for the customer, creating a copy of the order, or splitting the order. Let us return to the list of orders. All these activities can also be performed from this list. We can select an order and perform custom event actions or basic actions. From the list of orders, we can select more than one order and perform specific actions on them through this button, Own Events or Basic Actions. Let's try to perform one action. For example, the basic one. Let's mark the first order. And then let's move on to action, payment setting. We can define the order as fully paid or unpaid. And we can also specify the date of payment. Let's set up the payment. And the action was performed. The order was paid and thus disappeared from the unpaid status. Let's mark the order. This time, let's move on to the action of removing orders. We confirm. The order has been deleted. Deleted orders are visible in the special bin status. We can restore such orders. They're kept for one month. We click Restore Order and Confirm. The order has been restored to the order list. Another option we can do is merge orders. In this case, we need to select more than one order, for example, two. Let's move on to actions. Let's merge orders. We choose the main order. The selected items will be merged into one order. In this case, we can determine whether or not we add up the shipping costs. Let's choose yes. And we confirm merge orders. The order has been merged. It is visible on our list. We can also divide such an order. In this case, we have two columns. We select which orders are to be included in the first and which are in the second. We go to step two. In this case, we can define the method of delivery, payment. We confirm. The order has been divided. We mark. We select actions. In this case, we can search for orders similar to what we have selected. When searching for similar orders, we have a specific description. In our case, these are orders with the unserved status, which are similar to the selected order. We also have to choose the date from which we want to check the orders. This is the start date. Let's choose February 1st. We will search for similar. In this case, we have selected orders by email value. Or by name and surname, or by name of the company. We can display such orders in action. As you can see, we have a first and last name. And at order numbers, and the date from which they were submitted. We have a list of two similar orders to what was selected. Let's clean our filters. Let's hide advanced search. Let's mark the orders. 
Next, let's see our account's own events. On the educational account we have starting return, starting packing, displaying a courier label, or creating a label for a specific parcel locker, issuing a commercial document, and canceling the order. Any such custom events are set up by the account administrator. For example, let's do an order cancellation. In the lower left corner, we have information that an automatic action has been performed. In our case, start of cancellation. This is the transfer of the order to the cancelled status and sending the email template to the client. We have it in the Exchange of Messages on the Orders tab. Additionally, in the History of Automatic Actions, we have information that the automatic action has been performed. We can go to the Unserved status to confirm. Our order is gone because it is in the status Cancelled. Let's move on to that order. As you can see, the status is selected, cancelled, and the previously mentioned message template has been sent. Additionally, a message was sent to the client's email address. Another action that was configured on the educational account, it is the issuing of a commercial document. Let's issue the document. We have confirmation that the action has been performed. As you can see, in the lower right corner, we also have information that the action is being performed. And on the order card, we can already see that the invoice has been created. For this custom event, an email template is also sent to the client. And in the history of automatic actions, we have confirmation that the automatic action has been performed. For confirmation, we can enter the email box and see if a message has been sent to the email address added in the order. As you can see, the message came with an invoice attachment in accordance with the configured email template. On the Baselinker account, the account administrator can create various own events adjust them to the nature of the business, and such actions can be performed from the list of orders, from the order card, or using a barcode scanner. An additional confirmation is the icon that the commercial document has been issued. Let's do one more action together. We select Orders and select, for example, your own event, Start of Return. On the Base Linker Academy account, this is an action related to the fact that the order will be transferred to the return declared status. And in addition, an email will be sent to the customer that his order has started the return. As you can see in the message exchange, an email has been sent and the history of automatic actions confirms that the event was performed correctly. Actions on the Baselinker account accelerate our work and the processes that we would have to do manually. In the same way, we can send the parcel quickly. For example, in our case, it is display a label. That is, quick issuance of a courier label without manual selection of a courier integration, or to quickly label a parcel locker in a specific size. The number of possibilities is unlimited.